Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today's book is Wendy Adventure in Neverland from 1986. So let's get started. Wendy and her brothers, John and Michael, was having a great pillow fight. Oh, Michael, John, stop. The room is full of feathers, cried Wendy. Just then, in came their mother and father. My goodness, what, what a mess, said their mother. You are all too old to play such games, said their father. Isn't that right, Nina? Nina wagged her tail. She tried her best to look stern. Now hop into bed and get some sleep, said their mother. Remember, tomorrow is Michael's birthday. Their mother and father and Nina kissed them each good night. They closed the door behind them as they left. I don't care what they say. I won't grow up if we can't have pillow fights, said Michael. Grown up never have any fun, said John. I won't grow up either, so there. Near will I, said Wendy. She fought for a moment. Wait, I have an idea, she cried. If we can go to live in Neverland with Peter Pan, we won't have to grow up. Not ever. What a wonderful idea, said the boys. I wish Peter Pan was here, Wendy said softly. Peter Pan was the boy who never grew up. He lived in Neverland with him. Wait, with him lived a band of lost boys and Pixie, Tink, uh, Tinkerbell. Peter heard Wendy wish and flew to her window. Wendy and the boys told Peter their plan. Of course I'll take you back to Neverland, said Peter Pan. Then you won't ever have to grow up. Just a bit of pixie dust and off we go. At last, they all reached Neverland. Wendy and her brothers were glad to be back. It's Wendy, hurry, shouted the Lost Boys. Everyone was happy but Tiny Tinkerbell. What's a fuss over Wendy and her brothers, she said. Oh boy, I can't wait until tomorrow. It's my birthday. I bet you have really wonderful birthday parties in Neverland, don't you? asked Michael. Birthday parties? asked the Lost Boys. What are what are they? We have birthday parties every every year for each year that we grow up. Or we grow older, said John. We have cake and candles, said Michael, balloon and costumes, and lots of presents. We never have birthday parties here, said Peter. We don't grow older. No birthday parties, gasped Wendy. John and Michael? No, said Peter, but we make up for that. We have fun every day of the year. That's right, shouted the Lost Boys. We get up any time we like. No one tells us to wash our hands or comb our hair. All the boys talked at once. John and Michael cheered. Up right, away, up right away, but Wendy did not look happy. Come on, Wendy, said Peter Pan. Let's take a walk. When you remember how beautiful Neverland is, you will forget all about birthday parties. Tinkerbell watched Peter and Wendy. She didn't was not very happy about Wendy living in Neverland. And Wendy and Peter sat at sat by the beach. A rowboat came up to the shore. In the boat was Captain Hook and his faithful private. Smear, they climbed out of their boat. They creeped behind the bushes. There they could hear what Peter and Wendy were saying. Birthday parties are important, Peter. At, at ours, we had wonderful cake. 
There were presents for everyone, they heard Wendy say. I like the sound of birthday parties, Mayor, said Captain Hook. I must have one. We have to capture Wendy. I want her to give a birthday party for me. I have an idea, Wendy, cried Peter. We'll give you and your brother a welcome party. It won't be the same at a birthday party, but it will be a lot of fun. Peter ran to tell the boys. I am going to look for some berries, said Wendy. I'll make some special party pies. All she went into the woods. Aha, said Captain Hook. Now is our chance. Let's get her. He and Smile grabbed Wendy and ran. Tinkerbell saw the private carry Wendy away. Good, she thought. Now I must make sure no one finds out what had happened. Peter will soon forget about Wendy in that city party. Quickly, she threw over the boys. She sprinkled them with pixie ducks. The boys went right to sleep. Not one of them heard Wendy cry for help. John and Michael were the first one to wake up. Goodness, said John. Neverland is very different. We don't have to go to bed to fall asleep. Where is Wendy? asked Michael. All the boys looked for Wendy. They could not find her anywhere. Michael began to cry. Tinkerbell heard Michael cry. Oh dear, she thought. I didn't want the boys to cry. I had better make sure that Wendy is all right before it is too late. Captain Hook and Smiley were about to put Wendy into their boat. No, 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 I won't give you a party, cried Wendy. Let me go, you wicked creature. Let me go. Foul... Like faster than a butterfly, Tinker Bell flew back to Peter Pan in the boys. Tink had found Wendy, said Peter. Captain Hook and Smy have her. Captain Hook wants Wendy to give him a birthday party. We have to save her, cried John. But how, asked the lost boy. Peter fought for a moment, then he came up with a plan. Captain Hook wants a party, said Peter, so we'll just give him one. Didn't Wendy say that sometime people want, what, sometimes people wear costumes to party, he asked? Yes, said Michael. So the costumes are scary costumes. Then this is what we will do. There is no time to waste. We will all just clothes and wear twigs and branches. That will surprise Hook and Smile, all right, said Peter. They are all trained quickly. Come on, everyone, let's get them, cried Peter. Tinkerbell led them through the woods. They came to the beach and jumped out from behind the trees. Hook and Spy gasped in surprise. Who was those strange creature? Surprise shot at Peter, and the boys darted. It's Peter Pan, I should have known, groaned Captain Hook. He left Wendy. You're coming with me, little girl. Peter tripped Captain Hook. Down went Hook. Up flew Wendy, but she landed safely in Peter's arm. Hook and Smy ran quickly to their rowboat. After them, cried the lost boys. Oh, let them go. Wendy is safe said Peter. It's punishment enough that Hook will never have a party. Hook and Smile rode away fast. I get you yet, Peter Pan. Just wait and see, shouted Hook. They are gone, yelled the boys. Hurry. My hurrays. Thank goodness, said Wendy. I don't, wait, and don't come back, shouted Peter. I don't think they'll be back for a while, said Wendy. She pointed to the water. Then all saw the crocodile swimming after Hook. They laughed and headed back through the woods.
I want to go home, said Michael, in a small voice. I want a real birthday party with Mom and Dad and Nina. I would like to go home too, said John. Just think how unhappy they would be if we really stayed away forever. Wendy smiled at her brother. Maybe growing up won't be so bad after all, she said. Peter Pan was sorry to see Wendy and the boy go, but Tinkerbell sprinkled them all with pixie ducks so they could not change their mind. Then she and Peter flew them home. Wendy tucked her sleepy boys into bed, then she went to the window. Goodbye, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, she said. Someday we will see you again. Even though we grow even though we grow up, part of us will never really grow up all the way. So that was Wendy Adventure in Neverland from 1986. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a good day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.